It's day two of the Southern California Speedboat Club racing event in Bakersfield, California. Yesterday, the P111 came out ahead in both heats. The P55 had a breakdown in the first heat, and the 88P had to sit the second heat out due to a dead battery. Let's see which teams will make it out today, and then ultimately win the weekend. Before the first race, teams are offered a chance to put their boats in the water to do some testing. And look who's taking advantage of testing time. It's the P-55. It appears they've solved their problem. Cracker Box racing events, Cracker Box boats are never the only class of race boats at the event. At this event, another class of boats is called Sea Hydra, and it just so happens a member of the P111 Cracker Box family, one of the Hoots, will be competing. Hi, uh, Nick is my youngest son. He's been, this year is his first year running 20 in Sea Hydro. Uh, prior to that, he just ran the little A's and J's. First time out in his new boat, and he swept the field. He took a first every single heat that he ran in today and yesterday. So he's doing really good. He was just a natural, born at it. Well, the time has come for the Cracker Boxes to run their first heat. The first group of Cracker Box boats are put in the water. The P550, the P30, the 66P, and the P111. Day two of Cracker Box racing begins for the day. The P111 kept a solid lead and took the heat. Now it's time for the second group of crackers to take the course. The P55, the P94, and lo and behold, the 88P managed to change their battery in time as well. The 88P has finished in first with a slight lead over the P94, leaving the P55 in third. A valiant effort with mechanical issues, but unfortunately not enough to send them through to the final. Coming up right now. All the rest of the boats cruise around the course and line themselves up. When they reach the checkered buoy, the race is on.
Visually, it looked like the 88P orangutan kept the lead and won the race, except for one small problem. They jumped the gun at the start, immediately disqualifying them. With all of the pressure of competing next to so many fast boats, it's easy to get spooked and start a little too early. So the P111, the Hooter, actually came in first, winning another weekend back to back. Today was great. We went out the first tee and ran a good race. We ran a completely away from the whole pack. We were just about overlapping the boats in that class, in the heat A. Um, second was a wild ride. They ran us around twice for the start because guys were wanting to charge it. Just the anxiety level, the, the level of the competition in this class is beyond what I've ever seen in 30 years of racing. The want to win in the Crackers is unbelievable. Everybody's here to win. Everybody's fast. 